I've just been working here in the garden, digging and doing all sorts of things and using different kinds of tools. Would you like to guess and see if you can guess what kind of tools I'm pretending to use right now? Okay, here, here's one I was using. See if you can guess which one. Did you guess a rake? Well, that's what I was doing. I was raking up some of the dead leaves and grass and things I got from the garden. And here's another tool I was using. It was quite small. I just used it with one hand. This might be hard to guess. <laughs> Have you guessed it yet? It's some clippers. I was clipping off the little leaves, dead leaves and twigs from some of the garden flowers and the bushes. Uh, another one? All right, I'll bet you can probably guess this one pretty easily. Whew, that was hard work. <laughs> I was using a shovel and putting the dirt into my wheelbarrow to put in the garden. So I was using all of those tools and that was very good guessing. And you know something else that makes it easier while I'm working? I like to sing a little happy working song. Sing a ling a pretty little happy song when you've got a job to do. Then it never ever seems to take too long and it's easier for you. Singing while you're working is a simple thing. Just try it and you'll see. Hum a bit and very soon you'll find you're working to a tune. It's a happy working song. You are happy working happy. You are happy singing happy. When you sing a ling a working tune. And my work is almost all done. Oh, I got something earlier today. I was at a yard sale, and I, I got something very nice. I want to show it to you. La, 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 la. Or maybe I feel like doing a little drawing, so perhaps instead of showing it to you right away, I could draw a picture, and you see if you can guess what it is. Well, I'll bet you'll never guess. And there was something funny about this when I first looked at it, because... Part of it looked a little bit like uh, a person wearing a very fancy hat or maybe even a crown. So uh, I'll draw that part first. It was, uh, well, it sort of looked like, um, sort of like this. This would be very hard for you to guess just from looking at this. It's kind of interesting. And let's see, then the, uh, it sort of went, uh, like this. See, this is the part that sort of reminded me of a strange kind of a hat. See, so imagine somebody wearing this kind of a hat, and then the, the person was, would be kind of funny looking with a, an odd face like this. <laughs> Can you imagine somebody wearing a hat like that? But it really wasn't a hat. Now, draw a little bit more and see if you can guess. See, it goes like this and this and like that. I'll give you another hint. It's made out of wood on the outside. And inside, oh, it's pretty fancy inside. I couldn't see inside it, but I know that uh, there were some wires and uh, all sorts of things like that. And then besides this on the front, it also had one, two, three knobs. <laughs> Can you guess what it is? You have to plug it in to make it work. It was a radio, an old, old, old-fashioned radio made of wood. And this is sort of what it looks like, and it's just about this big. And uh, I guess if you turned it on, you'd probably hear singing and um, musical instruments playing and maybe news announcements. Any? Anyway, would you like to see the radio right now? Okay, I will show it to you. 
It's right over here. And oh, my. Granny, I didn't know you were here. I didn't oh, hear oh, you. Hi. Hello, Mr. Dressup. I didn't mean to startle you, but I, I can't believe my eyes. You know, I haven't seen one of these in years. It's a really old, old-fashioned radio, isn't it? Mm. I got it at a yard sale. Well, it certainly brings back a lot of memories. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I used to have one, or my folks had one, when I was a kid. I, we all listened to it. Well, does it work? Uh, well, actually, I don't know. I, I haven't even tried it. <laughs> well, let's, let's plug it in, see, see what happens. Right. <laughs> oh, now, wouldn't it be funny if it played old radio broadcasts? and old-fashioned music. <laughs> I wonder if it was an old-fashioned radio. Oh, no, I don't think it was. Let's see, anyway. Okay, I guess I have to turn it. There it goes. Nothing's happening yet. Hmm. You hear anything? No, I don't hear anything, actually. Oh, you know, these old radios, though, they were different from the new things. Sometimes you had to uh, let them warm up for a while before they'd start working. Mm. So uh, while we're doing that, I'll show you something else I got. Okay. What's this? Got this at the yard sale. Oh! <laughs> What's in the bag, Mr. Dressup? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's a grab bag. You just bought oh. them like this, so uh, I have no idea what's inside. Oh, well, I love surprises. Let's <laughs> see what's inside. Oh, wait. Let's see. Hmm. Well, what's that? There's a... A roll of tape, hey, that's good. And a yo-yo, some candles, and a few crayons. Hmm, not bad. Oh, no candy? Oh. No, I guess that's all. <laughs> I do love a, a grab bag that has a little bit of candy. <laughs> no, there's nothing. Uh, I like grab bags with uh, toys, actually, myself. <laughs> well, that's certainly an unusual combination of things to put <laughs> into a grab is, bag. Yeah. Um, you know what, I... I don't think I can use the yo-yo because I don't know how to work one, but these I can use pretty well. well I know. I know who would like the yo-yo. The who? Well, it's Mark the Repairman. It, well, he did a lot of yo-yo tricks at uh, the talent night last year. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. Well, I'll just uh, hang on to that and give it to him when I see him. Okay, then. So, uh... Oh, let's see if this radio's working. Oh. Nothing yet. Uh, no. Huh. No. Well, you know, you're good at fixing things. Would you like to take a look at it inside and see if you can see anything wrong? Well, I'd be glad to, Mr. Dressup. Oh, good. Oh. What? By the way, well, Mark is coming over for a jar of my famous blueberry jam. Mm. Why don't you phone him and see if he'll come over here first and take a look at this radio himself? You know, Mark collects old radios. Oh, he does? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, great. I'll, I'll give him a call right now. Okay. Sure thing. All right. Uh, let's see, Mark's number is... It's ringing. Hello, is that Mark? Hi, it's Mr. Dressup. Uh, um, Granny was wondering, she's at my house, and she was wondering if you'd stop off here on your way to the community center. Yeah, so she's got an old radio that, uh, well, actually, it's mine. We wanted to have you look at it. You collect old radios, don't you? Yeah. All right, then. Uh, I'll see you very soon. Okay. <laughs> All right, he's coming over, and I'm going to go back to work in the garden. Oh, okay, there we go. I've unplugged it, and I've just removed the last screw so I can take off this slot panel just to see what's inside. Oh, my goodness, it doesn't look very good. Oh, oh, oh. Let's get oh, hi, Granny. Wire here. Oh, oh. Granny, uh, hi. Oh, oh, oh hello, I'm Chester. I'm over for you. What are you doing with that funny-looking box? Uh, well, I'm trying to fix this old radio that Mr. Dresser bought at a yard sale. Oh, well, I'll just try the remote control. <laughs> remote control? Yeah. <laughs> he didn't have remote control when this was made. <laughs> oh, gee. Well, then, couldn't Mr. Dressup afford to buy a new radio? <laughs> Mr. Dressup has a new radio. He bought this one because he loves old-fashioned things. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. Hey, Granny, um, c could you look at this microphone? Um, I traded some baseball cards for it, and nothing happens when I talk into it. So, see, okay. see l listen, listen. Hello, hello. <laughs> Nothing's happening. <laughs> well, Chester, it's not working because it's not plugged in. Oh, of course. <laughs> oh, I'm silly. Oh. <laughs> oh, Chester. What? I've got an idea. I bet you we could hook up this microphone to Mr. Dress up radio. You think so? Mm hmm. <laughs> hey, 
There, I've just finished up all the work here. Now the next important thing to do, now that the tools are cleaned up, is to put them away where they belong, which is here in the shed. Go, go in the Oh. <laughs> I think the door is stuck. It's been sticking a lot lately. I don't know what's wrong with it. Have to <clears throat> give it a good pull. <clears throat> I have to work up my muscles for this. <clears throat> Think I'm strong enough now? Let's see. <clears throat> That's a job. I'm going to have to fix this so it doesn't stick anymore. Wonder how Granny's coming along with the radio. Okay, Granny, I think the radio's on now. All right, Chester, time to try it out. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> You know, I, I think it's great. I think it's working. What a neat idea, hooking the microphone up to the radio. Hey, wouldn't it be fun to make up our own radio show? Oh, it most certainly would, Chester. I know. Let's try singing a song. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Ingery Pingery. Ingery Pingery's not my name. Hello, Goopery Boopery. Goopery Boopery's not my name. What's your name? What's your name? Chester, Chester, that's my name. Hello, Chester. Hello, Ingery Pingery. Ingery Pingery's not my name. Hello, Goopery Boopery. Goopery Boopery's not my name. What's your name? What's your name? Granny, Granny, that's my name. Hello, Granny. <laughs> That was great. Anybody hearing that would think it was a real radio mm -hmm. show. <laughs> hey, I've got an idea for a trick we could play on Mr. Dresshop. Oh, Chester, now tricks aren't always very nice. Oh, this one is, and this one's a good trick. I think you'll like it. Okay, tell me. Well, <laughs> that would be a fun trick. Well, we'd better get to work right away while Mr. Dressup is still outside. Uh, come on, Chester. You help me move a few things, okay? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> you just go over here. Maybe that'll do it. Oh, I was just shaving a little bit of stuff off the door here, off the wood, to see if that'll keep it from sticking. Let's see how it's working now. Okay, it's closed. Ha, 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 ha. No more stick. I did it. Good for me. And I did it with my special little tool here. You know, this is called a plane, but obviously it's not a plane that goes flying through the sky. No, this would never fly through the sky, but this is called a plane, and it's a very useful tool to have if you want to shave a little bit off a piece of wood. It's got a handle here, and then you hold it like this and move it that way, and underneath it has a blade that cuts the wood and it's very sharp. In fact, it won't work if it's not very sharp, so I'm not even going to touch it. I'll just show you where it is. Would you like to see how it works on this piece of wood here? Okay, I put it down like this, and push, and it goes like that, and you get a shaving of wood. Nice and curly, too. I'll do it again. Shave, shave, shave. You know what I like to do with these curls? <laughs> I like to pretend they're mustaches, watch. <laughs> Funny, okay, well I'm all done, so I better clean up here and put this away, and also I think I'll put my apron away. When the red, red robin comes ba 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 and along, along, There'll be no more sobbing when he starts throbbing his old sweet song. <sighs> wake up, wake up, you sleepy head. Get up, get up, get out of bed. Cheer up, cheer up, the sun is red. Live, love, laugh and be happy. What if I've been blue, now I'm walking through fields 
of flowers. Well, the rain may glisten, but I still will listen for hours and hours and hours. Well, I'm just a kid again, doing what I did again. I'm singing a song. When the red, red robin comes bob, bob, bobbing along. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Trapper! Beautiful, beautiful, How beautiful. are you? Hi, Mark. Good to see you. That was a nice song. Oh, thank you. I was just wondering why you're singing a song like that. Well, it's a very old song. On the phone, you said you had an old-fashioned radio. Yeah. So that made me think of old-fashioned songs. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that was good. Yeah, and you do collect radios, don't you? I collect a lot of unusual things, but old radios, yeah, yeah, they're one of my favorites. Well, Granny asked me to ask you to come by and look at the radio because okay. she thought you might have some spare parts or you might know something about it. I might, it. I might, yeah. Oh, and that reminds me. Uh, have I got it? Yeah, here it is. <gasps> something oh, for you. For me? A uh, yo-yo. I love yo-yos. I got it at a yard sale. Same place where I got the radio. Oh, well, yellow happens to be one of my favorite colors. Well, that's good. Shall I uh, see if, yeah, give I'd it a whirl? i to watch you. Okay. Mm. Rock the baby in the cradle. Oh, that's good. <laughs> and, oh, I can make a star with the yeah. string, like that. What a beautiful star. Good. And here's a monkey climbing up a tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll like this what, one. What? It's, uh, it's like a Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel. Yep, baby, baby, bum, bum, round and round and round and round. Well, thank you very much for the yo-yo. Uh, well, you're welcome. It's uh, something I was never able to do, so I figured you'd be the best one to have it. Well, thanks. Okay, well, I guess we should go now and see if we can see what's wrong, wrong with, with the, the radio. radio. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, boy, I think, I think with all these boxes piled up, they won't see us. We can hide behind them. I don't think so. So shall we test the radio and see if our plan is working? Check. Okay. Why don't I sing a song? Okay. Peanut butter and jam make an excellent meal. Put them on bread or a bun or banana. Eat them slow, because you may not get another. But if you want some more, you can always ask your mother. Lunchtime, dinner time, breakfast too. I can eat peanut butter and jam, can you? Lots of butter on the bread, lots of peanut butter, lots of jam to make it sweet. Then jam them all together. <laughs> oh, that was a good song, Granny. I think... Oh, Walter, well, I think Mr. Dressup is coming. Oh, oh start your radio announcing. Oh, oh, hi, hi, yes. Okay. Uh, that was the peanut butter and jam. Uh, I predict it will be a real smasheroo. <laughs> um, stay tuned to the station ABCD for the best in music, sports, and jokes updates. Speaking of jokes, uh, did you hear the one about the duck that flew upside down? He quacked up. <laughs> I love that one. And now, a community announcement. There will be a fundraiser held at the community center on Friday evening. Uh, refreshments will be served by Truffles and Annie, and music and poetry will be supplied by Mr. Dressup. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you my name on the radio. They did, and, and Truffles and Annie, too. Yeah. Well, uh, this must be very close by. Must be, a, yeah, a neighborhood radio station. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you feel sad, lonely? Forgotten. Well, maybe it's because you haven't filled your bird feeder lately. <laughs> your best friend might be the one with the song on his beak and the feathers on his back. And while you're putting the bird seed in the feeder, how about a few gumballs or jelly beans or a chocolate bar maybe for dessert? The gumballs in the bird feeder? That's, that's strange. That's strange kind. See if you can get another station. Uh, I'd love to. That's, that's very, yeah. very silly. This is station ABCD asking all of our listeners to remember not to throw litter on the ground. Please put your litter in a litter box where it belongs. I, I can't seem to change the channel. Oh, that's odd. That's weird. When now it's time for a real treat of all our listeners in Radio Land. Right now I'm going to see how high I can count. Yes, right here on channel ABCD. And you can count along if you wish. Ready, set, go. Um, one, two, three, four, no, I, five, I don't think I really want to listen six, to this very brain. No, no me neither. Why don't we just turn it off? Nine, okay. Yep. Ten, eleven. It won't shut off. No, try 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I can't figure it out. I don't know. Well, I wish Granny told me what she did with it. If she was here, she'd know. Yeah. What if I take this back to the shop, and I'll try to work on it That's there. That's a good idea. And I'll, I'll tell you what's wrong with it. A radio that won't turn off. 
plug. What? Well, Four. there seems to be an extra Five. wire coming Five. off the back. Six. It's it's not the wire that plugs into the wall. Nine. You're right. Forty. Looks like it's going over behind the tickle trunk. Well, why don't we follow it and find out where it goes? Let's do. Let's do. Over here. This is strange. Yes. Oh, I think it leads over to the kitchen. <gasps> Shh. What? Do you see what I see? Oh. <laughs> that really funny trick. <laughs> you know what? I think they're trying to play a trick on us, so why don't we play a trick on them? Yeah. Okay. Okay, now, now we have some knock-knock jokes for you. Oh, you do the jokes, Granny, and... I'll keep an eye out for Mr. Dress-Up and Mark. Okay. <laughs> uh, knock, knock. Who's there? Dwayne. Dwayne who? Dwayne the bathtub. I'm drowning. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Granny, I don't see them. I, I, I don't see them anymore. I think they disappeared. <gasps> oh, my. Uh, well, let's keep looking, sir. sir. Uh, keep trying to find them. Okay, and you keep talking. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And uh, uh, now it's time for a rhyme. Uh, Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Uh, oh. 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 <laughs> oh, you scared me. Uh -huh. oh. Well, uh, this is uh, Station uh, uh, ABC. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, signing off the air uh, forever. Oh, well. Uh, uh, hello, uh, Mr. Uh, Dresser. Uh, uh, hey, uh, what a nice surprise. 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 <laughs> well, uh, what uh, what were you two doing with my radio? Well, um, well, um, uh, uh, well uh, it was my idea, Mr. Yes, it was her uh -huh. idea. Well, uh, well, we didn't hurt it or anything. We didn't. No, know no, it. no, 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 no. I just no. thought, well, I thought it would be fun to do a radio broadcast, but it well, it wouldn't seem real if if you knew it was us. So uh, we hid. Yeah. We uh -huh. did. Well, yeah. You, you did a great job because you fooled both of us. <laughs> yes, they did. <laughs> Yeah, there was just uh, one thing that I thought you might have left out if it was like a real radio, that uh, you didn't have any of those old radio shows. Remember the old comedy shows they used right, to have? Right, right. What, what's that? Like an old vaudeville, vaudeville. show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's a vaudeville show? Well, vaudeville was, um, um, well, actually it would be easier to show you than to tell you. I've got an idea, if, it's, if Mark doesn't mind. Why don't you two go out and be an audience outdoors in the garden, and Mark and I will dress up and do a vaudeville show for you. Oh, oh, great. Okay. I'd love okay. to. Uh, sure, we'd love that, wouldn't we, Chester? Uh, sure, okay. I guess Excellent. you better start so Let's go to the tickle trunk. Okay, we'll see them outside. That's the wire there. Okay. <laughs> what a joke that was. Well, it was a funny joke, but they fooled us. That was the best part. Yeah. Now, we've got some costumes here, and I think we might you have do. some good okay. vaudeville costumes. And they're matching. They're both the yeah. same. I hope I... This one fits me, and that one fits you. Very strange pattern. Oh, I think it's good for vaudeville, though. Funny stuff. Right. But, oh, uh, you won't want that hat. You'll want a hat like this, won't you? And uh, that one. Right okay. there. Oh, we should have some canes. I think uh, there are a couple of Oh, look of over canes. here. Remember? Two bamboo canes. Right. Those well, we look pretty guys. good. Sure. So, uh, I um, think we're all set. Well, what, what, kind of a, what kind of a show should we put on? Well, uh, do you know any jokes, songs? That sort of thing? Well, well, I know a few, but uh, I don't think we're ready to do a show. Well, uh, I think we're as ready as we're going to ever get, so okay. on with the show. On with the show. Well, this is going to be very interesting. An old-fashioned vaudeville show. I haven't seen one of these in a long, long time. <laughs> and I've never seen one. Oh, boy, this will be fun. Mm -hmm. oh, I, I think they're coming now. Good. Well, we're ready now. Uh, Granny, would you do the announcement and uh, say it's uh, a Mr. Yes and Mr. No? Yes oh, and no. Okay, certainly, mm -hmm. Mr. certainly, yes Mr. Okay, well. okay, here we go. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, sit back and enjoy the greatest vaudeville team in the whole wide world. Please welcome Mr. Yes and Mr. No. Yes. Yay. Yes. Good day, Mr. No. Uh, Mr. No, I understand that you have a dog that has no nose. Why, that's right. I certainly do have a dog that has no nose. Well, if you have a dog that has no nose, how does he smell? My dog smells terrible! <laughs> oh. oh, boy. Ah, <laughs> uh, Mr.
Mr. No, they tell me that you are very, very clever and very athletic. I understand that you can stand on your hands. Why, that is correct. I can stand on my hands. Would you like a demonstration? Uh, precisely. My hands. I shall stand on them. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oh, Granny, well, even I can do that. I think that's the joke, Chester. <laughs> so tell me now, Mr. Yes, are you hungry? Well, as a matter of fact, yes, I am hungry a little bit. Mm -hmm. Would you care for some nuts? I love nuts. Yes, in fact, my favorite nut is the cashew. Uh, excuse me, I, I don't believe I heard you. A cashew. Cashew. Uh, cashew. Bless you. <laughs> hmm, that's vaudeville? No, I think I'll stick to TV. Oh, shh. They're just warming up, Chester. Oh. And now, the amazing Mr. Yes will do his world-famous disappearing leg routine. Ladies and gentlemen, the amazing Mr. Yes will make one leg disappear. As you notice, Mr. Yes has two, count them two, legs. See, one, two legs. And now he will make one leg Disappear. Oh, uh, uh, one leg! Oh, that's amazing, Mr. Yes. Uh, uh, the, uh, the amazing Mr. Yes, he, he's made his disappeared leg reappear. <laughs> <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Yes and Mr. No will perform their famous Song and dance routine. Yay! Oh, uh, hold on, hold on, Granny. We we can't do a song and dance routine. We'd have to practice for something like that. Well, I, I, uh, no. Yeah, but maybe with a little practice, uh, you know, maybe I could do just sort of a little dance, you know. Too. Oh, okay. Well, well, if you could do that, then maybe I could go. Yeah. Or we could put them together and do it at the same time. Okay. Let's try that. Okay. Uh, well, maybe no, we know. should practice. Yeah, a yeah maybe we bit, should huh? have a, a a song or something. Uh, well, well, something. Well, we can work on something. That's a great idea, Mr. Dresser. But why don't you and Mark practice and perform it at the next Community Center Talent Night? Oh, oh yeah, that's a good mm -hmm. idea. Well, I will if you will. I will. And I've got a great idea. We could have Chester be our announcer. Really? Oh, right. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll like this vaudeville thing after all. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's do it then. Okay. Yay. Uh, the only thing is, before we get started on that, we have to do this because oh. it's time for us to be running along. But we'll see you again soon. Till then, bye. Bye bye from Mark, Chester the Crow, and Granny, and me, Mr. Mr. Dressa. Bye. -bye.